all right guys so this seems to be a highly requested video it's been very difficult for me to make this video because i don't want to have any of my customers personal information shown in this video so i'm just going to show you um shipping out the package okay so right now this is the package that i'm shipping out on the inside i have three bundles in the closure that i'm going to send to an instagram model um, that I agreed to work with an Instagram model slash YouTuber. So right now, I am on ShipStation.com. I'm gonna go ahead and log into my ShipStation account. Okay, so this is what ShipStation looks like once I log into it. Um, it pretty much gives an overview. So I've had 20 orders. Um, three orders are ready to ship. I have 17 orders that have already shipped. Um, pretty much with ShipStation, it is an application that is connected to my Squarespace website. Um, let me log into Squarespace so you guys can see that it's actually connected to my website. Um, if you are using a website builder like Squarespace, you are able to add ShipStation or other um, other applications or programs like ShipStation to your website. Okay, so let me go over here. I really don't remember which option it is. Okay, it could be connected accounts. No, that's social media. Can I remember what option it is under? Ship station. It might be under shipping, right? Let me see. Commerce shipping apps okay so on squarespace under the commerce tab under the ship um apps tab right here at the bottom right here it has different applications see these are third-party apps um these third-party apps provide tools for production fulfillment and more you can connect to your store using api keys learn more okay if you don't know how to connect it to your store you're going to click learn more but here they have different applications that you can connect with squarespace your particular website may have different programs you would have to choose which ones work with your website as a matter of fact squarespace ain't even over here hmm Maybe because it's already connected, it's not showing, but that's how you would connect it to your website. All right, so I located where ShipStation is. It's actually under my shipping tab. And right here, it has my ShipStation um, account connected. So every time I get an order on my website, it automatically, it automatically <laughs> sends all of the order information over to ShipStation. I don't have to transfer anything, okay? So, Typically, all I have to do is go to orders at the top. I will click on the order, okay? And then over here, good. You see right here at the bottom where it says customer, I'm not gonna scroll down because I don't want you to see my customer's information. But right here, it shows the um, selection that the customer chose on the website. They chose UPS first class mail. So it's shipping from my PO box. I can choose that or my mom's house. <laughs> so it's shipping from my PO box. Um, this package, just um, based off my experience, I know it's gonna be around 12 ounces. So I'm gonna put in 12 ounces. The service, USPS first class. Um, size, width, height, I'm not gonna insert that. I never insert that. Right here for a package, I always just hit package because this is a package. <laughs> And then it automatically spits out a price, okay? All I have to do is hit create label. Uh-oh. Create label. This pops up with all of the information I just um, put in. I already have money on the account. I have $6 on the account. So all I have to do is hit create label. And then after that, I can download the PDF. <laughs> I'm going to try to cover up my customer's personal information because that's the part I don't want y'all to see. But this is pretty much a shipping label. And all I have to do is print it out and tape it onto a package. Okay? So that's exactly what I'm about to do. Um, 
<coughs> so I'm about to go ahead and set it up for print and I'm gonna show you um, it coming out of the printer because a lot of people want to see that to the laptop um, and it should start printing out any second now yep Now, literally, I have it flipped over so you don't see anyone's address. All I do is take some scissors, I cut it out, and I tape it onto the package. That's all I do. Okay, now one thing I want to mention is when you do tape down your label, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have tape on here. You do not put tape on the barcode. So the bottom barcode where the tracking number is, do not put tape over the barcode at the top. There's a barcode up here. Do not put tape on it. But other than that, you wanna put, you wanna tape down your package, okay? 